I'm Dr. David Huang at the KCI Institute, Oregon Health and Science University. I'm a co-inventor of Optical Coherence Tomography, or OCT. OCT is now a commonly used imaging tool that has revolutionized the field of ophthalmology. But it began with a hunch. OCT got started in 1990 when Professor Jim Fujimoto asked me to build an interferometer to measure the thickness of the cornea and retina. Low coherence interferometry is the basis of the high depth resolution of OCT. In our interferometer experiments, it soon became obvious to me that measuring thickness is a trivial application for this technique. A much more exciting use would be to obtain cross-sectional images of the retina and see its layered microstructure. We call this new imaging modality optical coherence tomography in our original science paper published in 1991. Because of its high resolution, we compared it to performing histology without taking the tissue out of the body. This paper has been cited in more than 5,000 scientific articles. OCT has come a long way since the original invention. The prototypes used in the earliest clinical studies in 1993 needed three seconds to get a low definition image. The latest OCT systems being tested in our laboratory today can acquire a high definition cross section at 100 frames per second. The speed has increased several hundred fold. OCT is now used to diagnose diseases of the retina, optic nerve head, and cornea. OCT is now by far the number one most commonly used eye imaging test. Because OCT systems are so much faster now, it is no longer used just for cross-sectional imaging. Many applications use three-dimensional OCT images. For example, here we see a laser treatment to remove cloudy layers of the cornea was planned with the help of simulation of laser ablation using 3D OCT scans. We can now see detailed 3D structures of the retina. For example, you can peel back the retina layer by layer in this on fast view of the macula in a glaucoma patient. The nerve fiber layer bundle defect can be seen as an arc in the superior macula. OCT is being used to image not only structures but also function. My research team has recently developed new ways of using OCT to perform angiography and blood flow measurements. In contrast to conventional angiography, OCT angiography does not require injection of a contrast agent and is inherently three-dimensional. This video that you're seeing now shows the advantages of 3D, where we can see blood flow in many layers of the retina, choroid, and optic nerve head. This is an incredibly important new development because the leading causes of blindness in the industrialized world are all associated with reduced or abnormal blood circulation. These diseases include macular degeneration, diabetic retinopathy, and glaucoma. OCT will continue to revolutionize the diagnosis and monitoring of renal diseases. I'm proud to be a key contributor to a technology that is doing so much to improve the eye health of people around the world.